there's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm here in Rome, got the Rome Open, got the Nogi European Championship coming up this weekend. So it's been a while since I've done two days back to back, but I'm really looking forward to competing out here with the Gi on and with, uh, without the Gi, because it's been a while since I've done a Nogi tournament. So I'm, re I'm really looking forward to seeing my improvement. Did a lot of wrestling, did a lot of um, just takedown training, a lot of guard training just for this tournament. Um, so I brought a team with me from Sweden, and I'm um, just I just want I'm super pumped to see how well everyone does. And um, regardless of how we do, you know we study our mistakes, and uh, we go back home and we improve upon them. So um, just want to keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. So um, this has been my first time in Rome. So all the the old architecture and seeing like all these great buildings and historic sites I've read about has been, you know, really energizing because sometimes you go out to these tournaments and you're like, you're kind of lazy. You don't want to go out and see things. You just want to stay in the hotel and, you know, make weight. But um, when you're out, when I'm out here in these great destinations, great locations, I had to go. Um, just to soak in that energy and just the history. Um, and, and I think that's a big part of just the jiu-jitsu lifestyle is not just about fighting, it's not just about competing, but also just broadening your horizons, learning about these places that you're visiting for these tournaments and setting aside some time um, to see things. Because I, I used to compete a lot more, as, um, but I would never go and see things. I wouldn't go adventuring or, you know, just, I wouldn't I wouldn't take the time to, to just explore, but um, now, I'm just very fortunate that I can I, I, I can do that now. You know, I appreciate that kind of thing now. Um, and that just kind of goes back to just not just being about fighting. It's more than being more than just being a great, great fighter. You know, there's a lot of a ton of great fighters out there. But how many how many of these guys can read a book or how many of these guys can have a you know, interesting conversation about some other topic um, than grappling or jujitsu or MMA, you know? Um, so, uh, take, take, take this time guys to learn more, you know, take, use it just to learn more about yourself, one, and to explore. Um, that's one really great thing about all these tournaments all around the world. If you're fortunate enough to be able to go out there, see the sites, you know, meet new people and broaden your horizons. All right, guys, I'm trying to keep you guys updated on, uh, how I do out there, but again, uh, it's just another tournament. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's always going to be another tournament. So I'll keep you guys posted, okay? Peace out and get some rest. Boom. I know my limits. You can break me down, but I'll stay till the finish line. And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now. Just to see you again. And I've been counting days to get away To see you again, see you again Been finding ways to get away To see you again, see you again Hey guys, I just got done with the Rome Open and European Nogi. Uh, so Rome took home the gold. Uh, you know, I had four really tough matches, and um, you know, I felt really good and super focused. Um, man, and I just you know went for it, and it's so cool. It feels so great when everything comes together, and you you can just use your technique. And um, you know, whenever I compete, I always just try to use as much technique as possible. And, you know, whatever physical attributes, speed, strength, you know, is always, like, secondary to the technique. And that's something I try to instill in my students. You know, technique is the truth. That's, that's, where, that's where you win the championship, guys. 
Of course, you need to be tough and you need to have that grit, but man, that technique and knowing how to solve these positions and how to approach the positions, that that means more than, you know, getting out of something using just power. You know, when you get out with technique, that's that's like the real deal. And um, something that I've found is that that's that's what people really want to see. They want to see, of course, they want the entertainment. But um, if you want to do like seminars and private lessons, you have to have that technical aspect. You have to have it because if you just rely on your physical attributes all the time, of course it's going to be cool to watch and people are going to you know cheer you on. But you know they're not going to want to take a private lesson from you or want to do a seminar from you. Um, but it's it's really those. Guys that had the technique, those technic technicians, those are the guys that people want to go and watch and see and go to the seminars and support um, because that's something that they can replicate. They can't replicate your speed. They can't replicate your power um, or like your aggressiveness. But, man, if you have good technique, man, that's for me, that's that makes me so proud when my technique is like, man, that, that shit was smooth, man, you know. Um, so, uh, so, uh, the gi went really well for me. No gi didn't go too well. I lost the first match, but man, I felt so good. You know, I felt so like loose and relaxed and calm. I might've been a little tired because the gi, uh, the no gi weight class is different. It's like, I think I weighed like, you know, maybe two kilos lower, which is like four pounds, a little bit over, four, over four pounds. So to go from like doing middleweight, you know, um, being like 80, 80.5, which is like 70, 177, 178 uh, pounds, and then having to go lower because Nogi, you have to be like 175 with the Nogi stuff on. So I think for me, that's kind of, it's kind of hard to do it back to back. I can make middleweight, but like the Nogi middleweight is a little bit harder. So I'm going to work on my, um, going back, I'm going to work on my diet just to get a little bit lower, a little bit leaner. And of course, I'm gonna keep pushing my strength training and my c conditioning. Um, but man, I felt good. You know, the results weren't what I wanted. But man, I, I used I used all the technique I wanted to use, I could use, and uh, I just felt good. You know, sometimes it's not your day. Sometimes like you get a tough bracket, you get that tough match. Sometimes you get the the style matchup that doesn't work for you. So a lot of winning is the opportunity, the luck of the opportunity and who you're gonna fight, um, that makes the big difference because you can have like super tough matches and man, you just fight, you just fight someone that your style does not match up well against. And then sometimes you fight and man, it's like they're doing everything, you know, everything that plays into your game, you know? Um, but all we can do is just prepare. That's what I tell my students. That's what I tell myself. Um, we just learn from our mistakes and we go back home and we keep working, keep working, keep testing, keep training keep competing um and that's it so i just wanted to keep you guys updated so um uh, it's been a long week uh, weekend i got here on friday thursday i got here on thursday night and like saw a little bit of rome and then uh friday saturday sunday was coaching and uh saturday and sunday competing and and coaching so it, it's a lot but um, when I think back on the, these kind of times, I, man, there's nothing else I would like to do, you know. I wouldn't want to be stuck at home or, or stuck in the office, you know, working 9 to 5, you know, wearing a suit and stuff. Like, that's not me. Uh, but being out here on the mat and cheering my, my students on, my friends on, and, you know, having my students and friends cheer for me, you know, that's, that's like the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. So I wouldn't change that for anything. So if you guys can't tell, my eyes are, like, squinty because it's super late here. Um, but I just want to keep you guys updated. Until next time, guys, peace out and ciao. I know my limits. You can break me down, but I'll stay till the finish line. And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now just to see you again. And I